Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial on how to download git slash git bash for a Windows machine. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to this URL up here, git scm, uh, git dash scm.com. And here you should see something that looks like this, I'm just talking about what git is, and then on this little monitor here you'll see a button that says download version number for your system. Go ahead and click that and it should start it automatically. Um, go ahead and hit keep and then run this file once it is downloaded. So you'll see something similar to this. Um, if, if before this it asks you to trust them, go ahead and hit yes. So hit next. And then here is where you can choose um, what features you would like. Uh, it is good to enable this. This lets you right click somewhere and launch either a git bash or a git GUI. Um, this is, these are usually just good to have. Um, additional icons, you might not want that unless you're using Git a lot and you like stuff on your desktop. Um, this checks daily for updates, uh, but we're not going to check that, so go ahead and hit next. And then here it'll ask you which editor you want to use as, via, uh, as Git's default editor. So Visual Studio Code uh, is a really really good, really easy to use, um, lightweight text editor. Um, same with Sublime and Atom. They're, they're all three pretty modern text editors. Um, not sure what VS Codium is. Uh, Notepad is very basic. I don't recommend it. Um, and WordPad and Notepad are pretty much the same. So, if you have Visual Studio Code installed, go ahead and select that. If you have Sublime or Atom, go ahead and select that. If you don't have any of these top three here, I suggest downloading them, even if it's just to use Git. Uh, so we'll just leave that, and then hit Next. And um, this is just about Adjust, uh, adjusting the name of the initial branch. This doesn't really matter too much. Um, if you know what this means, you can decide for yourself, but if, if this doesn't make any sense to you, probably just leave it here, let Git decide. And here, adjusting your path environment. Um, so this basically just says where do you want to be able to run git from? So you could say git and gish, uh, git bash only, meaning only when you use this terminal. Um, git from the command line and third-party uh, third software. This lets you do it from uh, the Windows command prompt, Windows PowerShell, pretty much any terminal that you have. And this says just command prompt. So it's good to just do this one. They recommend it. This installs it in most places. And then using SSH, it would probably just be best to use OpenSSH. And then for SSL TLS, just leave it here with OpenSSL TLS, unless you know what you're doing, in which case you can make your own decision. And then this one doesn't really matter too much unless you know what you're doing, in which case make your own decision, but for most people this first one will be fine. And then you can you can choose which sort of um, which terminal to use. I like MinTTY, I just think it's it looks nicer, it seems more customizable than wi uh, Windows' default. And git pull you can change this. Just leave it on default unless you know what you're doing, in which case make your own choice. 
and the credential manager. It's probably just fine to use the get credential manager core. And you can choose whether or not to enable file system caching. Uh, you can read what that does here and symbolic links uh, here. I'm not going to change this. And we are not going to enable this unless, you know, and then we install. Alright, so it looks like I've got a, a few instances of, uh, of it running. So let's go ahead and X out of that. That's from a previous tutorial. And then we install it. And once it's done, um, it should look something like this. So, yeah, you'll be able to do all kinds of things, like you can run git for version control. Um, if you have Python installed, you should be able to run Python from this. Uh, pretty much anything that you would be able to do on a regular bash console, like ls, stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and, uh, have fun.